Welcome to our latest Talk Stocks Deal Flow video. Today we're covering lithium, a metal that is becoming increasingly important in our world today, and has seen some explosive stock price increases in those exploring and developing new supplies of this vital metal. In this video, we will be covering the demand forecast for lithium over the next several years, the key types of mineralization to look out for when doing your DD, the effect of EVs and the electrification of the economy on the supply and demand side for lithium, recent M&A deals in the space and some public companies involved in the exploration, development and mining of lithium metal that might be worth a deeper look. With that, let's jump in. Lithium is an essential metal for a variety of industries, including batteries, ceramics, glass, lubricants, and pharmaceuticals. However, the primary driver of lithium demand in recent years has been both the rapidly growing electric vehicle, EV market, and energy storage markets. In January, Albemarle Corporation, one of the largest lithium producers in the world, released its 2023 strategic update, which included a significant increase in its forecast for global lithium demand. Albemarle raised its forecast for 2030 global lithium demand to 3.7 million metric tons of lithium carbonate equivalent, up from its previous estimate of 2.8 million metric tons. Many reports indicate that the lithium market is expected to continue to grow at a significant rate over the next few years, with a CAGR estimated to be between 18 to 25 percent through 2030, amongst the strongest growth runways among all metals. As previously mentioned, the electrification of the economy and the growth of the EV market are the primary drivers of lithium demand. According to the Statista market forecast, which estimates that revenue in the electric vehicles market will reach more than US $457 billion in 2023, with an annual compound growth rate of 17% from 2023 to 2027. Additionally, a report by Markets and Markets states that the global electric vehicle market size is projected to grow from 8.1 million units in 2022 to 39 million units by 2030, at a CAGR of 18%. There are concerns that shortages of lithium may become severe at the end of the decade due to the increasing demand for electric vehicles and energy storage systems. As the electric vehicle market grows, the demand for lithium-ion batteries is increasing rapidly. Some experts have warned that there could be a significant supply-demand gap for lithium by the end of the decade. For example, this chart by Benchmark Mineral Intelligence is projecting that lithium demand could shortly exceed supply. This could lead to a sharp rise in lithium prices and possible supply chain disruptions. These could be very good in the short term for investors with exposure to the lithium metal space. It's these supply concerns that are causing automakers to now look into the actual lithium and battery metals mining operations and locking in offtakes of metal supplies and in some cases becoming vertically integrated, an almost unheard of practice. Tanya Skilton, Director of Purchasing for Electric Vehicle Critical Materials at General Motors, calls it a race and a zero-sum game. Mercedes-Benz Group's Chief Executive Ola Kalinius says it now makes sense to do direct deals because of the coming squeeze in lithium. Automakers continue to prioritize securing a reliable and sustainable supply of lithium. As the demand for electric vehicles continues to grow, and why we believe we're going to see many more deals, and why investors may want to have exposure in the lithium metals space. Here's a list of just some of the deals automakers have made to secure supply. Lithium is found in a variety of different mineral forms, each with its own unique properties and characteristics. The three main types of lithium mineralization are brines, pegmatites, and sedimentary deposits. Brines are the most common source of lithium and are found in salt flats, salt pans, and underground aquifers. These are large-scale operations that extract lithium from underground brine reservoirs. The brines are pumped to the surface and then evaporated in a series of ponds, leaving behind a concentrated solution of lithium salts, which are further processed to produce high-purity lithium compounds. The most significant producers of lithium from brines are located in South America's Lithium Triangle, which includes Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia. Chile is the world's largest producer of lithium from brines, with the Salar de Atacama being the most significant source of lithium. Argentina's Salar del Hombre Muerto and Bolivia's Salar de Uyuni are also major sources of lithium. The typical commercial grade of lithium needed for a brine deposit to be economic is around 0.1% 0.2% lithium and account for about 66% of global lithium resources. 
Pegmatites are igneous rocks that are formed by the cooling and solidification of magma, which contains high levels of lithium. These rocks are the primary source of lithium in hard rock mining. The lithium is extracted through crushing and leaching the rock, and then further processed to produce high purity lithium compounds. The largest lithium pegmatite deposits are found in Western Australia's green bushes, which is the world's largest lithium mine, and also in Canada's Manitoba and Ontario provinces. The typical commercial grade of lithium needed for a pegmatite deposit to be economic is around 1% lithium, and account for about 25% of global lithium resources. Sedimentary deposits of lithium are formed by the accumulation of lithium-bearing minerals in sedimentary rocks over millions of years. Lithium is extracted from these deposits through a combination of acid leaching, evaporation, and further processing to produce high-purity lithium compounds. The most significant sedimentary lithium deposits are found in the Jadar Basin in Serbia and in Clayton Valley, Nevada, in the United States. The typical commercial grade of lithium needed for a sedimentary deposit to be economic is around 0.1% lithium, and account for only about 8% of known global lithium resources. There are a number of public companies involved in the exploration, development, and mining of lithium metal. Some of the largest producers include Albemarle, SQM, and Ganfeng Lithium, while companies like Levent and Orocobra are also significant players in the market. In addition to these established companies, there are also many smaller players exploring new projects and may offer more leverage for investors. These include Lithium Ionic, TSXV, LTH, a Canadian-based lithium-focused mining company with properties covering Amr 7700 hectares located in the prolific Araquai Lithium Province in Minas Gerais State, Brazil, which boasts excellent infrastructure, including highways, access to hydroelectrical grid power, water, and nearby commercial ports. Its Itinga and Galvani claims are located in the same district as the lithium-producing CBL mine and development stage Sigma Lithium Corp., its large Barreiro and Shuxa lithium deposits. Sigma is the talk of the town with rumors of a possible Tesla acquisition. Look up their stock. Atlas Lithium Corporation, NASDAQ ATLX is a U.S.-based mineral exploration company with the largest size and breadth of exploration projects for strategic minerals in Brazil, a premier mineral jurisdiction. Their Minas Gerais lithium project is their main focus and consists of 57 mineral rights spread over 58 774 acres and predominantly located within the Brazilian Eastern Pegmatitic Province, which has been surveyed by the Brazilian Geological Survey and is known for the presence of hard rock formations known as pegmatites, which contain lithium-bearing minerals such as spodumene and petalite. Patriot Battery Metals, Inc., TSXV PMET, is a mineral exploration company focused on advancing its district-scale lithium discovery at the company's 100% owned Corvette property in the James Bay region of northern Quebec exploring over 50 kilometers of strike in the newly discovered Corvette Lithium District. The company is aggressively advancing the Corvette property with a fully funded $20 million 5.6 rig winter 2023 drill program. American Lithium, TSXV LI NASDAQ AMLE, is focused on Nevada and Peru. The company has the advantage of both geographic and geological diversity in developing world-class scalable projects. In South Central Nevada, the company owns the TLC Claystone Lithium Deposit, which is in close proximity to the Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada. In southeastern Peru, American Lithium is developing the Advanced Stage Falcani Hard Rock Lithium Deposit, as well as one of the world's fifth largest undeveloped uranium deposits, known as Makusani. The company also has one of the world's largest combined lithium resource bases. This was recently uplisted to the NASDAQ. Brunswick Exploration TSXV BRW is among the only public companies aggressively and systematically conducting grassroots exploration for lithium in Canada using state-of-the-art exploration technology to identify high potential targets. Their team has staked major underexplored pegmatite fields across Quebec and Atlantic Canada and maintain an aggressive prospecting geochemistry program across their portfolio. OSISCO owns about 10% of them and BRW just recently completed a bought deal private placement. This is just a few lithium-focused exploration stocks to start your due diligence process.